Hi, today I'm going to show you five super fun games and a cute craft that are all St. Patrick's Day themed that your kids will love. I'll also be sharing how you can create your own St. Patrick's Day class party at home. Hi, Sarah here from the Johnson Crew channel here on YouTube. The first three games that I want to show you are minute to win it type games, and they all came from the Feels Like Home blog, and I'll leave a link to her site below. The first game is called Flying Skittles. Each person gets a straw, a cup, and a pile of Skittles. The object is to get as many Skittles as you can into your cup by sucking them up with a straw and dropping them in your cup. After one minute, whoever has the most Skittles in her cup is the winner. But you must not touch the candies with your hands, ever. I think another great name for this would be Don't Taste the Rainbow. Number two. Each person gets a cup, a pile of Skittles, and this time a spoon. Players may only touch the spoon, no hands on the candies. The object is to get as many Skittles as you can into your cup by scooping them up with a spoon. The player with the most Skittles in their cup after one minute is the winner. Number three. Get your kids to stand up and place a pot in front of their feet. Then they drop Skittles from waist high into the pot. The person who gets the most Skittles into the pot in one minute is the winner. It's harder than it sounds. I found these at the Dollar Tree. You can use anything really, but the small opening in the top of this pot is what makes it so challenging. It's actually a lot harder than it sounds. I really loved that all three of these games used Skittles so we could just keep reusing the same Skittles instead of me having to buy a bunch of stuff. Number four. I love treasure hunts. It's super fun to watch them get excited reading the clue and then chase off after it, except for when they like shove each other out of the way. This game came from healthyhappyimpactful.com and she even has a free printable for you of the cards you hide. You'll cut the cards out and hide them where each clue says the next clue should be. And at the very end, they find the pot of gold, the treasure, which as you'll notice was the same pot we used for the Skittle drop game. And also found these gold coins at the Dollar Tree to put inside the pot. I did like eight coins per kid and they loved it. But really the treasure could be anything you want it to be. It could be a pile of candy or little trinkety toys. It's totally up to you. Number five. This game also came from the Feels Like Home blog, and she writes, traditional Irish games often include rhyming, so this is perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Each player gets a piece of paper and a pencil, and the person with the most rhyming words at the end of one minute gets a point. We played four times, so one minute for each word. We use the words day, green, gold, and leaf. You can simply play this on plain white paper, or if you want to make something festive for them to write on, I found this beautiful border on pageborders.org for free with the watermark on it. And I just pulled it into Word and created this themed worksheet because I just like that kind of thing. Number six. This craft came from craftymorning.com. It's pretty simple prep with a super cute result, and my kids all loved it, and they are eight, six, four, and two, by the way. Start by cutting strips of paper. Roll them into circles and staple them together to make rainbow chain links. Then you can cut out circles for your pieces of gold. What I did is traced a connect four piece so that I could have nice round circles. And then I drew an outline of a pot onto the black paper and cut that out. Tape or glue the yellow circles onto the back of the pot so they're sticking up above the top. Then tape one side of the handle to the back of the pot, loop it through the last chain and tape it on the other side. And you're done and your kids can hang it up as decoration or play with it. Now, everybody loves a class party, and who says just because you're homeschooled or at home doing virtual school means you have to miss out. You can have a party with just your family, or you can invite another homeschooling or virtual schooling family over to play the games together with you. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. 
Dollar Tree is my best friend for party supplies and you really only need a few things to make your house feel festive. So I just went to Dollar Tree and I grabbed this green tablecloth, some gold paper plates, green and yellow streamers, and some green balloons and these streamers go a long way. And then the other things that we used, um, the pots, it came in a bag of five and the gold coins come in a pack of 30. And then the only other thing we had to get was Skittles. So pretty cheap and cheap is me. I hope you have so much fun trying out these games. If you have some other games that you love, drop them in the comments below for us. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up for me and share it with all your friends. My name is Sarah and I have four kids and on this channel I love to talk about all things homeschooling, mom life, and traveling as a family. So if that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and join us here every week. Until next time, happy St. Patrick's Day!